The standard 12 VDCG is the most widely used non-invasive diagnostic tool in the management of cardiac disease and a source of information about the heart's electrical system. The ECG has significant impact on medical decision making, clinical management, and therapy. Common uses include diagnosing acute coronary syndromes, identifying arrhythmias and conduction disturbances, and determining the effects of medications or electrolytes on the heart's electrical system. Ensure proper placement of electrodes to avoid incorrect interpretation for the 12 lead electrocardiogram. Mistaking diagnosis or patient's mismanagement can happen if the lead was not really correct. Here in this body, we can see the sternum and the seven ribs, which is connected to the sternum from ribs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, connected to the seventh one. Eleven and twelve, they are in the back. Now we can determine the second intercostal space by the sternal angle. So it will be exactly at the second ribs. So we will see the second intercostal space. Now ribs number three, third intercostal space, ribs number four, and the fourth intercostal space. Here we will put the V1 in the border of the sternum. V2 will be on the left side. So V1 in the fourth intercostal space in the border of the sternum. On the left side, the same level will be V number two. Now, V number three will be between V number four and number two. So where is the V4 will be? It will be midclavicular. Fifth intercostal space. Now, the V3 will be between V2 and V4. So V3 between V4 and V2. Now, regarding V5, V6, it will be in the same level. This is V6, mid axilla, and the same level of the uh, 4, V4. V5 between both of them. Now we can enter our data for the in the in the uh, machine. After we switch it on, we plug it in, uh, the electricity, determine the um, calibration. And you can add patient's detail like the name of the patient, the height, the weight, the gender, the diagnosis, uh, who's the technician, who is the physician who's requesting the uh, ECG. Now in real patient, we will do the same. We will determine uh, second ribs, then second intercostal space, then the third ribs, third intercostal space, fourth ribs, and the fourth intercostal space. Here we will put the V1. After cleaning the uh, skin by soap and water if needed. So V1, V2 in the fourth intercostal space in the border of the sternum. Then we will start by V4 in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular, we will put the V4. Then V3 will be between V4 and V2. Now in the same level of v V4, we will put V6 and V5. The same level, V6 will be mid-axilla and V5 will be anterior axilla. So V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Now we can put in the limbs lead, in the right arm, in the left arm, in the right leg, and in the left leg. Here it's really important to determine by what written in the machine, not to memorize the colors like the red V1, no. So according to the leads, this is right leg. This one is right arm. After that, we will have like V1 and so on. So based what's written in the machine, we will follow. Now this is V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. You can ask the machine to interpret. Then you will print it, the whole data, the machine also can give you like feedback from the machine.